Cave Johnson, one of the most brilliant scientific minds of our time, once said, Science isn't about why, it's about why not. Which is exactly the reason that I combined putty with iron. This episode of Scientific Tuesdays is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash science and get a free trial membership. Today, we're going to make a magnetic putty. I'm going to start by pouring some iron filings into some silly putty. Well, actually, this isn't silly putty, but it's close enough. It's sort of a slime-based putty, actually, so it's more malleable. After I've poured in my first batch, I will pour a second layer in and then fold it over on itself again. I'm going to do this several times until I have enough in there that I can bend it, mold it, and make it my own. After a while, it's going to look dirty, but it's going to be super magnetic. The finished product is this. Super magnetic. Check this out. You can see little nodules popping out. They're attracted to my neodymium magnet. If you're wondering where you can buy this stuff, well, look no further than cereal. Cereal is iron fortified and thusly magnetic. However, if you want to go hardcore like me, go on the internet and type in powdered iron. You'll be able to find something that you can use just like this. My favorite part about infusing goo with iron is that we can make it almost into a monster. Check this thing out. These little nodules come out and they fall along with the magnet, just like a tamed beast. Oh, be careful though. If you get too close, it's gonna jump entirely onto the magnet itself. That's just the nature of the job. When I get a larger goo pack here, we have some more sustainability and we're able to mold it a little bit more with the magnet. But still, you can fail. Dropping the magnet in like this takes a while, but eventually the goo will envelop it completely. Let's try it with a smaller magnet. Oh, bye-bye. Now I've taken the magnet under the board. I'm trying to form it best I can here. I think the results are pretty great. But the cooler result is when I just stick the magnet in one place and let it collapse on itself. Awesome. All right, let's try it with a stronger putty. This is a thicker putty. That means it's not going to just jump right to the magnet immediately. But we can still get some cool results. I feel like a snake charmer right now. In fact, I feel like I can move to India and charm some snakes. I hope you enjoyed doing science with me today, and I'd like to thank our sponsor, Netflix. Netflix is awesome because they'll send you DVDs within about one business day. But if snail mail isn't your thing, Netflix also does instant streaming, straight to your PC, your Mac, your Xbox 360, your Wii, even your PS3. They've got thousands of TV episodes and movies that you can check out yourself. But if you're still on the fence about it, let's think back to what the great Joey LaForge once said. Don't take my word for it. As a Scientific Tuesdays viewer, you can go to netflix.com science and get a free trial and give it a test spin. All right, everyone, I'll see you next week with more science and possibly injuries. Every box, every state, every channel. As I'm a toast to the most prolific on both coasts. Roast folks, you say boat or you slow folks. Y'all don't know, think it's Eddie and self-born. I knock like a hailstorm. Somehow we held on. Are you the biggest loser? Every